Hi guys, this is Alexandra Lance, and this is my Module 6 Capstone Project. So the question that we are investigating is how do penguins stay warm? So I chose to do an inquiry experiment about penguins because I teach first grade and every year we'll be teaching themes and every year we do a penguin theme and my students love penguin the penguin theme. They love learning about nonfiction so I kind of thought, okay, what theme do I know my students love and what inquiry experiment can I do with that theme? So once again, the grade level is first grade and the EQ is how do penguins stay warm in water? Just to give you an overview of the experiment, we are testing four different materials in a bowl of icy water to see which material keeps a penguin the warmest in the Arctic waters. So for this purpose, I did the experiment with a three-year-old rather than first grader, so I did have to provide a little more guidance and prompting than I think I would have in the classroom. So the first step is we talked about how penguins live in the Arctic. So in the classroom, I would show the kids a video clip. We'd talk about what they know about penguins, address misconceptions or prior knowledge and talk about how the Arctic is cold and the water is cold. So we tested out the chilly water or the bowl of ice water and we came up with words like cold and chilly and said that we could not swim in it. So the next step is to test out the materials by putting them into plastic bags and dipping the bags in the water. In the classroom, the first graders could kind of talk in their group how they wanted to design uh, their method, uh, but I think I might have helped them or prompt them to do it this way. So the feather song combos didn't really do much to keep out the cold water, but Luca said her hand felt warmer quote, quote, with these materials, but not really warm enough to go swimming, so I don't think that's going to do the trick for penguins. Then we tested out the fat, which kept out the cold the best, and we talked about how penguins have blubber that keep them warm. She was pretty excited that she didn't feel the cold anymore. So in the classroom, it would look just a little bit different because the students would be completing the handout to collect the data. I did not make Luca do it because she's only three. And after the experiment, every group would have chosen the material that worked the best and we would have made a bar graph as a whole class to graph the data and see that visual representation. The level of inquiry, I thought this fell around a structured inquiry experiment, which I think is appropriate for first grade. I set up the question and mainly the procedure, but the students were in charge of finding the solution and figuring out how they, and testing the materials and seeing which one worked the best. If I had a, really allowed the students to design how they were gonna test their own materials, it could have become a guided inquiry activity. And the science perspective I felt worked the best was figure 8.3. I thought this was really science content, but it did incorporate technology with the video clip, engineering, and math. So in conclusion, I think this experiment can really help conceptualize the foreign concept of blubber, which I don't think most six-year-olds are familiar with, and we spend the week reading and writing about penguins, so now they'll get to experiment and investigate how penguins are able to stay warm in the Arctic. And really combining that conceptual and factual knowledge, the kids won't just be memorizing that penguins have blubber, but they'll actually be able to explain what that is and how it works. I think it's a really fun experiment, and I'm definitely going to do it in my penguin theme this coming year.